So I'm out here at the lake today, um, testing out some anamorphic on the R6 Mark II. I'm um, just kind of playing around, and get some quick shots. Don't really have, you know, any real reason. Just kind of, just seeing what I could see. It's a beautiful day. It's pretty chilly, pretty chilly, but uh, it's beautiful out here. Got nice clear blue skies, nice and sunny. Um, and so I'm playing around with the Subaru 50 mil anamorphic and seeing what I can get. So uh, let me know what you think. You know, one of the things I've noticed about this R6 Mark II that I've been enjoying is I do think the dynamic range really is better. Um, I don't think it's dramatic. I don't think it's crazy. Um, it's definitely nowhere near like a C70 where you're getting almost, you know, 16 stops. Um, but it is good and I'm always thankful just to see slight improvements on cameras. But yeah, it's it's beautiful out here, man. I love I love um, filming here. I've probably filmed here more than I've filmed anywhere else in my entire life. Um, we've been coming here since I was a kid. And um, it's just a great place to test out cameras, test out lenses. You got a lot of different textures. You got like a lot of wood, um, you know, metal. You got, you know, water, obviously the trees with all the moss hanging down, the Spanish moss trees, the cypress trees. So uh, it's just it's just an awesome place. So let me know what you think about the footage. I'm just kind of playing around today. I'm also going to throw in some low light stuff I shot last night. Um, when I say low light, I mean like no light. <laughs> it was ridiculously dark. Um, I pushed this camera harder than I've ever even pushed the R6 Mark 1. So be interested to see how that ends up looking. Um, but I was shooting with the anamorphic, which is only a T21. T so not exactly the fastest lens. So I haven't even looked at it on the computer yet, so you're gonna know before I do. It may look terrible, it may be great, but I pushed it all the way up to like 12,800, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually turns out when I get it on the computer and uh, look at it. But you guys will know, you already know. It's a cool thing, you know, I don't. Current me does not know. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments, would love to hear it. Yeah, this is a really simple video, just basically a little vlog, nothing too crazy. Um, again, just kind of putting this R6 Mark II through its paces. I wanna keep using this thing, seeing how it performs in different situations. Today has been some challenging stuff, some backlit stuff, some high noon sun stuff. Um, you know, low light stuff last night. So it'll be interesting to see. I can't wait to get this stuff on the computer um, and see what it looks like. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. You guys obviously have seen all this footage. I'm still uh, past Brock, so I have not seen it. Future Brock will know how it looks, but let me know in the comments what you think. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. I got a lot of stuff planned for the channel. I got a lot of ideas, but I also would love to hear from you guys what you wanna see from me this year, what videos you would like to see. Like I said, I have a color grading process video coming soon. I got some, some more stuff on the R6 Mark II, more stuff on the Canon C70, more just passion projects, fun stuff that I wanna make. So let me know what you guys wanna see. If you have questions, specific videos, let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. But again, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button if you like what you see. If you like cameras, if you like videos, if you like filmmaking, if you just like generally cool stuff gadgets tech this is the place to be so hit that subscribe button hit the like button let me know what you think in the comments i'll catch you next one